Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today we're talking about my final drive in my F-150. So let's jump right into it. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have your back. Just a quick little reminder, September giveaway is going on right now. All you gotta do is make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment on all my videos with something constructive during the month of, month of September and you were eligible to win a $100 Amazon gift card. So as some of you know, I have replaced my F-150 with my Jeep Gladiator. And I actually got the Jeep Gladiator maybe three months ago. Um, and my lease ends in about 15 days on the F-150. If you guys know anything about leases, if you end the lease early uh, or you want to go hand it in early and you're not getting the same brand car, uh, you normally will have to pay out the lease. So I decided instead of just handing it back, I may keep an extra car for four months uh, so I'm paying for it I may as well do it the insurance was minimal to keep this car so that's why I actually still have the F-150 I've used it a couple times if I've gone for a long trip because I'm 7,000 miles under my lease here I decided to use this instead of use my Jeep Gladiator so it has come in handy now the reason I wanted to make this video is really a three-year review of my 2017 F-150 limited trim package you can get a more spec F-150 than this. It's a platinum, but this comes base max spec out where the platinum, you will still be able to add certain features. I got this truck in September of 2017. At that point, uh, the 2018s were coming out. And the reason I didn't get the 2018 was because in the limited, you can't choose your options. They come as they are. And in 2018, sorry for anyone that has this out there, they had terrible blue leather inside. Um, I'm not a fan of these, these did grow on me, but the blue leather, come on, that was terrible. So I decided to find, and there weren't many around, there's maybe three or four in my state at the time, limited uh, packages. And I decided to go with the 2017. I also got a, a better deal than going with the 2018. 18. Right now, I only have 23,500 miles on this truck, which means I'm 6,500 miles under my actual lease. I signed up for a 36 month lease at 30,000 miles, which is 10,000 miles annually. I pay $670 a month for this truck and I put $3,000 down in case you're wondering. So, granted, I haven't had the miles on this car but I have driven it quite a bit. And there are a couple problems I have run into the truck. Firstly, I am not a Ford guy, a Chevy guy, or a GMC guy. I'm just a good quality car guy. If the car is well designed, I will get it. If the truck is well designed, I'll get it. And really, this one fit my needs because it had the 36 gallon tank. It had the f uh, fold up back seat with the flat uh, area for my dog and I found a spec that I wanted. So that's why I got a Ford. So with that said, let's get into the problems that I ran into with the F-150. Keep in mind, most of the problems I've had with this F-150 uh, fall under warranty and I haven't had to pay to get them fixed. That's the somewhat advantage of leasing a car. You always have a car under warranty. Now, first problem I ran into with the F-150 is the massage seat. Yes, first world, but if you pay for a feature, it should work. The driver's massage seat, when I go on, <laughs> the driver's massage seat, when I go on long drives, you know, four or five hour drives, you actually want it, you may as well use it, the truck comes with it. And that works intermittently on the driver's seat. Whenever I want to use it, I would say 70% chance it's not working, but the passenger seat always works. Maybe it's got to do with my weight, but that drove me insane. 
I would take it to the dealership. They say it's working now. But to be honest, I don't think they actually did anything. It just worked. So it was an intermittent problem. That really drives me insane. And I just replaced my wife's Ford and it doesn't come with massage seats. And I think I'm more happy about that because if the function's not there, I cannot use it. If the function's there and it's broken and I cannot use it, then I'm upset. On to the next problem. My sunroof, I don't really open it that much. I do keep this uh, shade open most of the time. But on those hot days, my bald head can actually feel the heat of this glass. But that being said, when I went to open the actual glass one day, the sunroof actually came off the rails, which is really inconvenient because my truck doesn't fit in my garage. And obviously the day it happened that night, it was raining. So yes, luckily I had a tarp. I had to put the tarp around. Then I had to call a dealership to see when they had an appointment. So that was like a three or four day process very inconvenient for a truck that has 23,000 miles. This must have happened at around uh, 15,000 miles. On to the next issue. Now this issue started, I would say about a year ago. So two years into it. Whenever I wouldn't use the truck for, uh, let's say a day or two, you would start the truck and then you would put it in drive and try and move forward. And I tell you, it felt like a centrifugal clutch. You had to push the throttle halfway down for this to build up enough torque to move. It, you know, revs would go up to about 2,500 and then it would slowly go forward. This would only happen when the car was sitting for a while. I did take it to a dealership. They told me they don't know what the problem is. It didn't happen to them. But look, it happened to me <laughs> more than 50 times. I just really didn't care to get it fixed until um, I was handing this car back in at the lease just because I didn't want them to charge me for something that was broken because the warranty would be done. Now stepping into the next problem, my truck has uh, the retractable running boards. Now for the last six months I've noticed that the driver's uh, retractable running board has gotten slower and slower and slower until last month it finally just stopped working it would get stuck halfway out or up or down and it really was intermittent but you could see it was trying to work I did take it into the dealership and they told me simple WD-40 fixed up the issue but getting in to film this car now, the running board stopped halfway. And I just had the truck into service last week. So I've heard there's problems with these running boards and I'm confirming, confirming it is true. Now the final problem I have with this F-150 are the tires. The tires that came on here are the exact same tires that came on my 2018 R8. Yes, a supercar. These are Pirelli P0 tires on here. And I am amazed how terrible they have held up over three years. With 23,000 miles on, these tires already have dry rot everywhere and they suck at snow. Not saying they should be good at snow, they're sport tires, but the dry rot is everywhere. I'm gonna have to pay to replace these tires, which will be the first time in my 10 years of leasing cars that my tires didn't handle the whole lease period because I drive so little. And I forgot about one problem here. I don't know why this happens, but I tow quite a bit with this truck and at about 68 to 72 miles an hour, the whole truck vibrates. Be it I'm towing my boat or towing my race car, doesn't make a difference. The truck vibrates just at those um, speeds. And it might be because the tires are not worn correct. I don't know what it is. Maybe they're not balanced correct, but that I've never looked into it because I just go fast or slow and then the issue's done. Now that I've talked about everything that has gone wrong with the truck, that doesn't mean that I hate this truck. I actually love this truck. So let's jump into the great things about this truck. So first off is the sheer space in here. There's plenty of space. This is easily a five full adult truck. The back seat is super wide and big, plenty of leg room when you're sitting in the back and it folds right back up so you can have space in the back for your dog or gear. 
you can have still seats in there the seats do split in the rear so you can have office or one third up or one third down to fit whatever you need in here so i love this space in this truck plenty of room next up this truck is so comfortable to drive you can go hours and hours and hours in this truck and never be uncomfortable that is a plus if you have to hit the road for a long time in a pickup truck the layout everywhere in this cockpit is perfect i love how every button is accessible you can use the touch screen for the ac controls or you can use the analog so there's multiple options you can even voice control the ac system so this is all a great feature of the f-150 another great thing about this f-150 is the towing capacity i believe it's around 11,000. it has an integrated uh, brake controller and as you know i need that because i tow quite a bit now let's go over some of the upgrades or accessories i got for the truck firstly if you can see on this camera here i have a dash camera i love this dash camera been using it for three years i'll put the link in the description below for that I run my house with the Amazon Alexa and when Garmin first came out with Amazon Alexa for the car I definitely added one now moving into the rear of the truck I put a retractable metal tonneau cover on this truck as you know trucks don't have much storage inside that's what the bed of the truck is for but also as you know once once things are in the bed of the truck it's easy for someone to steal them so i wanted to get a retractable steel tonneau that i could lock and which has been closed and locked most of its life so i added that and lastly i added a gun safe this is a pretty unique gun safe ford sells a gun safe that takes up the whole center console this one is actually half of it these center consoles are massive so you can fit whatever you want in there no reason to have all of it locked up so i will put a link in the description below for this one so guys that is the review of my 2017 f-150 limited this is going to be one of my final drives i am going to hand this back to ford because carvana apparently doesn't buy out Ford leases if you want to go into how to do a lease buyback and make some money let me know in the comments below because that's a whole nother video and nine times out of ten I do that with every one of my lease ends so that's gonna wrap it up for today guys if you like the content I put out please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and remember don't forget to enter into that September giveaway so you could win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card so guys, until next time, I'll see you then.